Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about linear search, binary search. Okay, there are separate set of algorithm available which is for sorting. Okay, so till now in this whole series, what we have covered stack queue link list. Even we haven't covered link list questions. We are mostly talking about string and array. Okay. We talked about all different set of array questions and uh, we also did searching. Now, when it comes to sorting, there are many algorithms available quick sort, heap sort, merge sort, uh, insertion sort, bubble sort, radix sort, many or bucket sort. Okay, similarly, there are a lot of searching algorithms are also available. Here, I will be talking about simple bubble sort. Okay, and we will try to see how it works. Okay, so this is a random array which has been given to us. So, what we need to do, we just need to run a loop from i0 to i n and there will be inner loop inside it which will run from i1 to i is less than n minus 1 minus i okay so how it is happening let's see uh, for each pass we will move left to right swiping the element if you can say that array of j is greater than array of g plus 1 then obviously we have to swipe from the inner loop okay so here is our this is starting pass 0 okay you can say so this is greater so it is a swipe now it is comparing with it with 797 it is fine now it is comparing with a 467 swipe it it is lesser swipe it again swipe it again swipe it and again it will swipe it so in the first iteration what we are doing is we are able to achieve we are able to provide or push the first highest element I mean you can say the highest element of an array to the end of the array so you can see the n minus 1 element is now at the fixed position this is what is the expected output for that position now we will again so this is now green our length size array size is now reduced to array n minus 1 minus i because i we have executed a single pass now we are moving to the second pass okay starting with this for each element satisfy no, no swap because here we will do a swap here we will do a swap here also 901 that is fine here we will do the swap now if you see we are able to achieve two elements at the right position so this this particular process will keep running until unless we get the third element sorted then fourth element sorted then fifth element sorted this is how it is going to be now you can see we don't need to do the swap okay so there is a condition do we need to do a swap if not then that means those elements are sorted in that particular case and we don't need to do a further iteration as we find out okay everything is sorted okay we can optimize this code here we keep comparing everything is sorted done sorting right so this is the bubble sort similarly there is insertion sort uh, quick sort radix sort all these kind of sorting algorithm also we will talk about so if we just try to uh, write a bubble sort bubble sort is a simple example okay and what we do is in the bubble sort we just compare and we keep swiping the elements so if I just if we try to write how bubble sort look like and we can write the code so this is an array we have okay array of i array le less than length okay j equal to 1 j is less than array dot length okay and j plus plus here it is basic ascending order i mean uh, if you talk about the uh, the final solution for this okay so here we are doing the simple loop we are not improvising it like we are not checking the uh, we do we need to swap or not okay this is what we are doing here so we can write a swap function also swap function will do nothing but swiping out these two elements with one another now we can use array destructuring for this swap array of i j array of i or j is equal to array of j i this is a simple swipe right here we are starting j 0 to n minus 1 minus i and we are checking array of j is greater than array of j plus 1 swipe it simple one so similarly there are other algorithms also which we will talk about is the insertion sort uh, bubble sort merge sort okay so that we will cover in the last when we are talking about algorithms till now we are just talking about data structure 
and in the middle of that i started talking about array questions string questions javascript related but i will come back soon to the linked list and queues back again and we will go on the path of understanding tree different kind of tree and graph data structures soon thanks everyone